With their work here now complete, the rescue mediums plan to compare their findings with independent research to see what matches up. I'm going to link a whole bunch of things together. So, I mentioned horses to you, stables, racehorses. Horses, stables, racehorses, riding boots. Also spoke about a head injury and gave you the name of Paul. Mm -hmm. Which is my father. Your father is Paul? Yes, he was, uh, suffered a head injury um, riding a horse. So, okay. Yes. Um, definitely on my mind these yes, days. Yes, yes, and we wish him all the very best and as Chris said before Absolutely. we are sending him lots and lots of healing thoughts out for Thank his you. speedy recovery. Thank so. you so much. Now when we first went into the centre we were aware of a gentleman just stood right over in the far corner watching us. We thought at first he was angry. We thought he was a, so that we, he was angry, mm. but he wasn't angry. He was just really, really passionate about what he did. It's like he's looking after everything. This is his department. This is what he does. Research revealed that a man named Frank Kidd was responsible for maintaining the pianos and organs now located at the museum. His father was co-owner of the Dominion Organ and Piano Company, which was literally right across from this building. It was, yeah. yes. And Frank actually worked there for his father. Mm -hmm. He is very, very thankful that you wonderful ladies and everybody else here at the museum are taking such good care of everything. Okay. So Frank stays with us then? Uh, yeah, he just likes to come and go. Okay. Yeah. What of the female spirit sensed by the rescue mediums? We were aware of this lady following us around and she kept just moving across us very, very gently. But then the master bedroom, she came very strongly to us in there. She's doing it now on this arm. So she will be very, very gentle and just guiding round. Now, Williams, we gave the name Williams, uh, Sarah Jane Williams bought this place and is the benefactress and, and is the reason why this place Existed. is where it is now. Mm -hmm. A name listed in the rescue medium's premonitions, Sarah Jane Williams, donated this historic home in 1965 for the express purpose of establishing a local museum. She married Dr. L. B. Williams in 1895 and in 1901 they had a daughter. We actually rescued a little girl in the centre. Alva Williams, the daughter of Sarah Jane, died at only seven years of age. Her cause of death was diphtheria, just as the rescue mediums had predicted. Diphtheria. Diphtheria. This drawing created days before the rescue medium's arrival bears a resemblance to this portrait of Alva. The daughter was here because she, she didn't know, she knew her mother was here, yes. but she didn't know how to get to her. We had to help them together and they, are, they will now be re reunited in the spirit world. It's yeah. wonderful. See the atmosphere will lift now because when spirits are trapped, so they put a certain atmosphere well, that might cause a bit of tension yes. for you. Yes. Now that they've got that help, that, that, will, that will lift. And now you know who they are. Yes. You can address them by name. And now they don't, they're not so scary. It works. We do it every day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bye. Thank you so much for coming. You're, You're very, very welcome. Thank you for all your help. <laughs> You're oh. so welcome. Thank Bye. You. Bye. At a nearby bistro, Jackie and Christine seek out some more refined spirits. There's so quite a lot to this one, wasn't there, really? Yeah, all those things, all those... All those beautiful keyboards. I know, I hope they don't move them. Why not? Because that'd be like an organ transplant. Oh, <laughs> You're impossible. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, 
At midnight, there's a traumatic case for the trauma team to deal with when two youngsters get brought in in serious condition after a fight that got taken too far. Up next, though, there's an ancient spirit that needs rescuing in the rescue mediums after the break.